Hi everybody. So today I'm going to show you the um, growing wax seal collection that I've been accumulating. And most of these are all from Amazon. So um, while I'm talking, I'm heating up some wax over here, as you can see. And um, I'm going to show how I do my wax seals. So anyways, so my friend Clarissa here on YouTube, Care Me Is Corner, had um, been showing some of the wax seals that she's been getting and so I finally decided to jump on board and try it out. So um, here are some of the wax seals that I got. Now I started out by just purchasing a kit that came with all the wax. Um, I'd shown a previous haul of like wax seals that were like this. I just only just bought the wax seals and it came with this spoon. But actually I purchased this kit prior to um, getting the just the wax. So uh, yeah, actually I might have to stop here and mix this wax up a little bit while we while I am talking. So okay there we go. This is almost ready. So anyways, um yeah so you know you can go on Amazon and purchase the wax seals with a handle like this or you can purchase it just with the head which is actually a really good idea because you, you're gonna end up with like tons of um, handles that you really aren't going to need because they're interchangeable you can just screw them on so oh, hold on here this is almost ready so anyways um, let's get started on some of these wax seals I might have to stop after a couple of them so this first one here is a oops I'm sorry my camera is probably moving this one is a mushroom seal actually I had that upside down there we go and where is it here it is this is the final product <laughs> as you can see here this is when this is probably the first one that I'd made and I was like trying to be a little bit stingy about using the wax so I'd only used I think maybe two or three but Clarissa told me actually I need to use like four or five depending on the size and so I've started doing that um, using more wax beads because I'm like hey you know these the kit that I purchased had like 600 beads so why should I be stingy plus the wax is not that expensive to buy. Um, oh great. I think this one is going to be messed up. Oh well. But anyways, um, hold on here. I don't know why I keep the tissue so far away from me. One thing you should do when you do these wax seals is always clean off the wax right away. So I tend to put it back on there to keep it soft so it's easy to clean and I just clean it off with some tissue. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Um, so it's always good to have the tissue on hand. And yeah, you should clean this off after every use so that it doesn't mix colors. Okay. Because you don't want some color that on your next wax seal you didn't intend for but you got to be careful because this spoon is really hot since it's been sitting there so I don't need that anymore I'm gonna put that there to cool um, yeah see that's the only problem is that when it it kind of pushes out in one um, that's my problem I haven't been able to get it perfect but this right here is actually um, I don't know for you anime fans out there if you recognize this seal you know where the seal's from? Violet uh, Evergarden. Here is one of the finished ones that I did. This is probably the, one of the few where it came out perfectly round. And I rubbed some um, of this stuff. I've had this for a long time. It's by um, Artsy, I think. Um, it's gold. It's like a, it's like a gold wax. I think that's really what you're supposed to use it for, for you know, if you want to put like a gold sheen to it. Um, I think I got this a long time ago, either from a clearance at Michael's or from Tuesday morning. So anyways, moving on. So let me go ahead and take this off. So 
this comes in handy. This is a spatula that I bought from uh, Dollar Tree that they've been selling, you know, those um, cry cut, you know, silhouette um, type of uh, tools. And for a dollar, this is like really good because it's easy to get it the wax seal off if it sticks to a surface like this. Um, I bought these coasters. These are like marble type coasters are really heavy from uh, I think it was TJ Maxx for like $5.99 it was a set of four and these are perfect for doing wax seals because um, they don't stick too hard or sometimes they don't even stick at all to the surface so as you can see here it's a very flat um, back and then this is the finished seal right here but I will still gild it with some of the um, the gold here or with the rose gold this is some paint that I bought from uh, Hobby Lobby that I showed um, in my last haul so I'll use a little brush and I'll just paint out the impression so moving on okay so I've already shown the mushroom one um, this one right here is a um, it's like a Japanese inspired um, I can't think of the name of the artist but it's supposed to be the ocean and I have it right here. This is the finished product, the finished stamp. Really, really pretty. Okay, and then uh, my next one here, well, I don't actually have one of this. This is the one that came with the kit. It just says, uh, sorry, it's upside down. Thank you. I didn't really care for it. I just don't like the design is basically what it is. So I didn't even bother to make a seal for it. Because I, I don't think I'm going to use it. Um, I did use the wax seal when I was uh, when I packaged up um, my niece's recent birthday presents, and um, everybody was like they loved the, the whole look because I used you know some string and tied it around the packaging and then um, stamped it, and they liked that look. So this one right here, I forgot ginkgo, I think leaves maybe. Um, so I got this one and finished product right here finished product for finished seal oh, there we go is that right there and so what else we got here I'm gonna just I don't even know why I keep bother to keep them in the bags um, I already have them in a container for right now I think I'll actually just throw the bags away okay so then the next one right here is supposed to be the moon okay and finished product so I have one here where I painted it with um, with some markers that I have they're like supposed to be metallic markers but it, you know this is not really high quality wax I think because the markers are not adhering to the wax very well so um, yeah so that's what it looks like finished or painted and then unpainted so really pretty and then Moving on to the next one. Now, most of these seals are, I think the size is 25. Mm, I don't know, 25 centimeters, millimeters. I'm not good with the the metric, I guess, um, conversion. But this one right here is one of the few square ones that I have. Okay, I just wanted to try and see how that looked. So this is the only one that I. I uh, stamped out. I did not um, put any wax on it. I don't know if that's a really good. There we go. I got closer. Hopefully that is focused. Okay. And next one I got here is this one is a rose. Did I do that one? Yes, I did. Okay. So here we go the rose and here is the finished wax seal okay that one is actually pretty I, I liked how that turned out and I think that one came also with a kit because it came with two um, stamps so it's not bad I mean it was less than $20 I think it was probably less than 18 now this one here is a mermaid one of my favorite ones okay and I actually, I think I have two finished ones, or 
yeah one that was painted and then the other that was not and I used a silver metallic pen for it I'm still trying like I said I'm still trying to figure out what pens work best on wax because some will um, work and then some won't and I think this one was for, uh, probably a Dollar Tree uh, metallic marker but it just doesn't have that really shiny surface you know that I want so I still need to keep looking um, because the markers that I ordered on Amazon Prime Day that came in they were metallic but they're water-based and when I tried it on the wax it just came out horrible so but they'll work really well on black paper. Okay, so this one right here is another mermaid one. This one's a pretty big one. It's as big as this Violet Evergarden. And then this is, I think, 30, 30 millimeter? I'm not sure. If, like I said, millimeter, centimeter, whatever. So um, this is the finished uh, one. Actually, hold on, there are two. Finished and unfinished. So as you can see, one, this one right here in the, that's painted, that one I think I only used three wax beads. And then the one here on the, the left, that one I think I actually used five. So that one actually came out really well, really, really well, but I wanted to leave it um, ungilded or painted, whatever, so that you could see the difference. So, okay, so let's see, what else do I have here? Um, it's kind of addicting to buy these, you know, but then again, it's like you stamp them, but you need to like stamp them on things that you're actually giving away <laughs> or making. So, um, yeah, I do like, I'm going to start using this for, um, for like a, what do you call this? For presents and stuff. And then eventually for, you know, envelopes. So you got this, I've got this one here, which I'm not sure it's like, it's not cherry blossoms. I don't know what exactly these leaves are, but this is the finished product here, and it's so pretty. Um, that's also a Dollar Tree um, metallic stamp. And uh, that one, oh, I didn't realize, but I did do that. I did do this one twice. Sorry. This is the roses, and this is the one that's um, unpainted and, of course, painted. Okay. Sorry if I'm all over the place here. I'm just trying to make sure that I get all of the um, seals. So then the last one that I have here is um, this one is, let me get up close. It's two swans. So lovely. And then um, this is the finished product finished seal. I actually was um, working on this when I started filming, but then I ran out of guard space, so I had to start over. So that's what it looks like. I like the whole look of like, I only used one wax bead, one pink wax bead, and then three of the white. So that came out pretty well. So, um, and then I didn't feature this in my last, in my Tuesday morning haul um, from yesterday because um, I bought these after I'd filmed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show them now. But these were over at Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Tuesday morning, and $3.99. Now I've never used wax this way, so I thought that um, it would be interesting to try. You know, I had bought some um, wax uh, seal uh, kits from Hobby Lobby was it last year? Might have been last year or the year before when they had a, a really big clearance and I got them for so cheap. Like, I remember there's one that came with the handle with either one or two stamps and then some wax sticks like this. And I got it for like a dollar fifty, but I, for the life of me cannot find it. And then I purchased like, a you know, a set of three like this in mint green for like, I think less than a dollar. And I, like I said, I have no idea where I put it in my stash. I was like tearing up my room trying to find it and I could not find it. Super annoying. So, um, yeah. But anyways, um, yeah, so the kit, you know, when you purchase the kit, comes with the wax beads, then you get this wax um, holder, I mean, whatever you want to call it, with, um, it came with like three of these wax, um, not wax, uh, candles, but they were like, I don't know what happened to them. I don't know if the heat melted them or what, but I just threw them out. They were just not going to be usable. And then of course, um, comes with the, comes with one handle with the two seals and then this. And like I said, 
It was less than $20 and it was a really good deal. And I like this, uh, this spoon holder. I think that's what it's called. So, you know, just rest there. The trick is you want to make sure that your wick is not um, too long because if the flame is going to be really big, then it's going to burn the bottom and you don't want that. I mean, it's easy to clean, but then that's going to be too hot for the wax and then it's going to develop bubbles. And that's definitely something you don't want. So I already had these candles from before. These are just from Dollar Tree. I mean, you could always buy a big ass pack from Ikea, you know, but these, I mean, at the rate, you know, I probably did all these with just maybe one and a half candles. So I guess it's fine getting them from, you know, from Dollar Tree. But um, I also had to, keep, had to keep, I had to buy a box to keep all of my stuff in. So I got this box from, where did I get this box from? Home Goods, I think. Yes, because the receipt's still in the box. And as you can see, that's where I keep my marker. So I put everything, actually, while I'm on camera here, I'll go ahead and put everything away. So I keep all of the samples here. Oh, can't see it, it's off camera. So I just throw them all in here for right now. Okay. I'm gonna keep the other two that I just made out because I'm gonna go ahead and color them. And then, I mean, I know Clarissa told me that she's probably sending me a, um, a case for the this, which is, I'm still gonna use because I would rather have a smaller case that hopefully will fit everything. So, um, best to just store them without the handle on. I mean, this case I got was just from Dollar Tree, but I can always reuse it for other stuff. Unfortunately, these don't fit in here so I have to keep them out um, so I just uh, stick this in here okay this one I can just put it to the side so the, yeah, it's not hot <laughs> use candle here's my spoons and my spatula um, I put the candles in here too somehow now these I picked up from Dollar Tree it's just so that I can stir the wax um, there's a hundred in there so um, I do put these in there but yeah it'll close it does make the box really heavy I will tell you that so let's see if I can still close this this is actually my first time storing these away so uh, right here Oh, and when I bought that Violet Evergarden um, wax seal, the uh, seller sent me these envelopes, but they were like bent into the box like that, which was like, what? So, um, I don't know. I had another seller that also sent me some envelopes that were actually way thicker and probably way better. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna store these in the box. So that is my wax seal haul, and um, yeah, try it out. It's actually really fun, you know, if it'll encourage you to send snail mail, hey. Um, although, it'd probably be best to do it during the winter because I could imagine these would pop off of the um, envelopes. Since it's been so hot here in Memphis, it has been, <coughs> it's starting to get really steamy hot um, with the humidity, which I absolutely abhor. So, um, yeah, try this out. It's really fun and, um, you know, it's just really unique. Um, it always reminds me of just, you know, the way when people used to write and probably using like what quills and, and whatnot, and then using a ring signet to like, you know, seal it. That's always fun. Um, my next thing that I want to do is buy the Hanko, the, um, Japanese stamp the seal stamp and you know try it with this but I want to get when I went to Japan I wanted to get one made with my my name but I just couldn't I didn't have the time to find a place um, that could do it so I'll probably end up having to order from um, online I know that Amazon there's two sellers on there that will do a custom seal for like maybe about $25 kind of pricey but you know it's the only way that I can get it done so anyways um, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, have a great week. All right. Bye.